Why did Rasulullah say from the age of seven encourage salah? Muru awladukum bis salah wa hum abna'u sabah. Start praying salah from the age of seven. And if by the age of ten they don't, litter. <laughs> Let's not go into that too much. But make them pray salah. Because by the time then they reach Baligh, they become adults, they will become already accustomed to obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he already encouraged from the age of 10, that time you should already be a full-time namazi. Listen to the, listen to the, so you may say this is out of the depth of a 10 year old, no. He's saying, fulfill ihfadillah, translated protect Allah, meaning protect the deen of Allah. Uphold the commands of Allah. If Allah says, do, you do it. You do the do's, you abstain from the don'ts. He's telling a 10-year-old boy. What is the benefit of such a thing? Everyone says, isn't it, Malana? What's, it, what's in it for me? What's, what am I going to get out of it? Allah, if you were to get nothing else other than Allah giving you the guarantee that you would go to Jannah, Allah, that was enough. Let's just say you weren't even going to get nothing at all. Other than just the fact that I can say I'm a Muslim. I swear by the Qasim of Allah, Allah was deserving of that as well. Everyone wants to look at what it is for their personal benefit. But he even told the 10 year old as well. If you protect and uphold the deen of Allah. You look at the do's. What did Allah say? I will do this. I will do this. I will do this. Where he says no, I won't do that. I won't do that. I won't do that. So he tells this young boy. Uphold the deen of Allah. Protect the commands of Allah. What will you get? Yahfadka. Allah Ta'ala will take it on Him to protect you. He will protect you. If you uphold the deen of Allah, Allah will protect you. He even mentions in another maqam, this is not the hadith, in tansurullaha yansurkum. If you help and protect, if you make nusrat and help the deen of Allah, Allah will help you. There is a lot of fear amongst a lot of parents. <coughs> if my child goes in the lines of deen, what is tomorrow going to happen to his sustenance? Where is he going to eat from? How will he survive in, in society? How will he get a house? How will he or she have a business? How will he progress, Maulana Sahib? You're advocating deen, tell me where do they survive from tomorrow? Where do they get their roti from? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who sustained us for millions, hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years, from the alamul arwah, until we came into this world, every single insan, different insan, different creation, the creation of the sea, the creations in, in, underneath the land, insects, Animals, how many billions and trillions and different creation Allah Ta'ala made. Not only now, until the day of judgment. And then when someone goes into Jannah, for millions and millions and billions of years Allah will providing. Let me ask you one question. Will there ever be a shortage and a deficiency in the Khazana of Allah? Will there ever be an announcement? Okay, I'm sorry, today we have to go on strike. Today we have to go on rationing. Not enough food for today. La ilaha illallah. That will never happen. That same Allah who provides for us behind us before. That same Allah who is providing for us now. That same Allah that will provide for us in the, in the future. Can that same Allah not provide you two pieces of roti? Can that same Allah not provide us one plate of food? Assist us in paying our bills? Allah won't fill your, fulfill your desires. So if you think I'm going to give myself unto Allah's deen, Allah's going to buy me a Ferrari and a big house, I'm going to have a 14 bedroom yard, a big pad, X, Y and Z, flat furnishings of the dunya. Brother, here, if you've got that motive, you're worshipping Allah for the wrong reason. Allah will protect you, Allah will uphold you, Allah will give you izzat, Allah will give you honor. Allah won't disgrace you if you uphold the deen of Allah. And he's telling this to a 10 year old boy, a young child. Protect the deen of Allah, Allah will protect you. Allah is saying, in Allah yansurkum. If you help and make nusrat of the deen of Allah, Allah will protect you. Allah will help you. <laughs>